Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's peak week, so I thought I would bring you along and just show you everything that's happening this week leading up to my first show of the season and um, what we're doing in peak week differently. So let's do it. I've got my oats cooking on the stove here. I like them to be nice and thick and creamy. That's a third of a cup and it makes it really nice um, in terms of you know, just feeling like more food than it is. And then I've got my egg whites over here. Just have a, just four egg whites with a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Then I'm taking the Magnum Acid Isolate before I eat. It's CLA. I have this with every meal, one capsule. And I also start my day off with a bit of Magnum G. It's L-glutamine. Um, this actually really helps with digestion too, so it's a really good pharmaceutical grade L-glutamine. And there we have it, nice fluffy creamy oats, nice and thick and full, and my very bad looking egg whites. So while I'm waiting for that to cool down a bit, um, let me just walk you through where we're at at the moment. So my weight has been dropping consistently over this entire prep. Um, this last week, it was last Sunday, I had my first refeed of PrEP and um, it really sped up my metabolism. So this last week, we've had to do multiple refeeds and my weight's just dropping consistently lower. So we're at a point now where we're happy with where I am with conditioning and ready to step on stage. So we're trying to hold conditioning until next week, Saturday. So we've got one week to go. Um, and so Kim has said from today to bring cardio down in half. Um, so this morning was the first morning in the last 15 weeks that I didn't get up and do cardio because I'm just going to do cardio post-workout um, and give myself an opportunity to rest and sleep in a little bit because I'm up at five every morning checking in, doing posing, doing my cardio. And then I do actually work with children with special needs. So I usually... I'm out of here by eight in the morning, going to schools to work with children and special needs. And then after that training, you know, and still doing mom life and wife life and that. So it is a lot of work when you're on prep and you feel like you go, 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 go all the time. Um, so just to have that little bit of extra sleep, even if it's just an hour, I know it's just going to do my body the world of good in terms of looking rested and healthy next weekend. Um, so yeah, the agenda for today is I have a beautiful wellness posing client um, in the next hour. And then after that, we'll go to gym and train. Today is a glute and shoulder day. So I'll get my husband to form some of that for you. And then we're going to do a grocery haul. So I'll take you along for that. Show you everything I'm eating basically throughout my prep. It doesn't change much in peak week, except that we might get some refeeds with some steak um, some white rice and some peanut butter, which I don't usually have at the moment. So those are usually what I include for refeeds. Um, and yeah, then I'll chat to you a little bit more later about what our plans are for this season, what shows we're doing. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So I'll speak to you soon. Okay, so I'm done with my posing client. She was absolutely lovely. It's great to be able to help girls in different places all over the world and just be able to pose girls from different categories too. I absolutely love doing it and I love meeting all of you. Um, so we're on our way to train now. Brett's coming with me today and we're going to go train. I'm doing glutes and shoulders. What are you doing, babe? The same. The same. Ah, he's going to do glutes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can do glutes and shoulders and then the cardio that I need to do. So um, I think I said earlier on that my cardio has been halved. So I've kept that for post-workout just so that I can relax a bit more in the mornings. Although this morning <laughs> I just felt a bit lost and without purpose because I've been doing cardio every morning for the last 15 weeks. <laughs> I just feel a little bit lost without it today um, and kind of twiddling my thumbs so I don't know if I liked that I'll see maybe I'll keep my cardio in in the mornings um, and not do any post workout we'll see but this week we're going to be doing different workouts anyway from Monday to kind of get ready for stage bring the inflammation down in my legs um, so 
yeah, we'll see how this week goes. Peak week is exciting, but it's also strange when you've been working so hard for so long and then everything's different all of a sudden. Like you're eating more and you're doing less cardio and your training's like not as intense and it's very strange feeling um, when you've just been go, 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 go for so long. But yeah, it's exciting too. So we'll get ready to film a few little clips from today's workout. And then afterwards, we're going to head to the grocery store. So we'll show you what we're currently eating and um, what I'm eating in my peak week. Although it's not really much different <laughs> to what I eat all the time. So we'll take you on a little grocery haul. Chat later. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel burnt out. <laughs> Energy is low. Uh, feeling pretty weak right now. I mean, we are a week out. If you feel like this last week I've dropped weight so drastically that I like, I just feel like a bit depleted right now. <laughs> like a walking skull. <laughs> Dawn of the dead. Um, but we're getting it done. Getting yeah, it done. getting the job done, definitely. No half measures. your number one tip for building shoulders? Uh, consistency. <laughs> What's the best workout to hit the, the shoulders? I think the thing that really helped me grow my shoulders was training them twice a week. So one day really heavy and the next day like pump work to get the blood flowing through there. Yeah. Um, once a week as a woman <laughs> with very low testosterone is not the ideal way to build the shoulders. And you want to get all the muscle fibers, fibers so you can get that density in there so you've got to do heavy and light you can't just do heavy but remember on like movements like your lateral raise bed weights like you can't go heavy on your lateral raise because you don't want to mess up your shoulders once you have operations on your shoulders there's like no turning back yeah um 
so I think consistency in patience eat <laughs> and to make out to be one awesome. heavy, one light. Looking good. <laughs> Okay, we've just come back from the grocery store and got um, some food for the week. So I'll just show you what I'm currently eating. So a lot of egg whites. I just use normal eggs. I don't buy carton egg whites. I don't find them to be as thick and nice. <laughs> so I just separate the egg white from the yolk. Um, and then I've got some bassa fillets, which is kind of like cod or hake. Um, nice white fish. Some lean turkey mince, 2% fat. 
I've got a stack in hopes of a food bump. <laughs> if I don't get one, then Brett will have it. Um, Americana, the only joy in my life <laughs> um, at the moment. <laughs> Although I do love my food, guys. Like, I don't mind this food, to be honest with you. Got some peanut butter, because usually we do do, like, some peanut butter in peak week when we do food bumps. And also backstage, no peanut butter rice cakes and that. Got the whole grain rice, which I normally eat with my lunch, but I've also got some basmati rice. If we do food bumps this week, we usually do white rice. And then veggies, I'm just keeping simple. I'm keeping it with some uh, sweet peppers and courgettes, just because they're easy for me to digest. Avocados, which I have 50 grams every evening with dinner, and then my sweet potatoes. The only thing you won't see here is my chicken, and that's because I get that from Muscle Food. It's just really much cleaner less fatty um and it's just a completely different chicken i'll be honest with you so check them out honestly i'm not sponsored by them but check them out they definitely have awesome chicken and then in my kitchen cupboard i do also have rice cakes pending for peak week and for show days so that's it that's everything i'm eating this week oh, look at this cute cat man rainy weather she's so cuddled up so cute <laughs> okay so i'm back home now um we did our grocery haul we did our training and tomorrow is a rest day for me so i'm gonna take some time out this evening i've been working really hard on my business um going for pro if you haven't checked it out please check us out on instagram um, so I know that I just need that downtime now, especially going into peak week. So after I've finished filming this video, I am going to take some much needed rest and just do cardio tomorrow, rest day from training before we start our peak week workouts. Um, I wanted to chat to you a bit though, before I sign off about what shows we're doing, because it's really exciting season for me. Um, so the first one will be the Hard Body Classic with Two Bro Pros, and that's on the 15th of July. And then we just got our visas back yesterday. We literally went on Tuesday for our appointment after struggling for, I logged on every single day for like over a month to try and get us an appointment at the Spanish embassy, um, or the, the kind of Spanish Schengen visa, um, agency in Manchester, but there were no appointments and there's been issues with people getting their Schengen visas. Um, so I was a bit nervous and anxious that I wasn't going to get mine. And then on Friday afternoon, I just logged on out of chance and there were appointments available. <laughs> so I booked one um, for Tuesday and we went in on Tuesday and we um, did our application. Thursday, we got a message to say it was being couriered back, our passports, and we were like, oh my gosh, is like this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Like, who knows? Um, but they came back and they've been approved. So that's really exciting for us because it means that we're going to be traveling over the summer to compete. So our first pro qualifier will be in Spain at the Big Man Weekend on the 29th of July. And then we're going to take it show to show from there. There is a UK pro qualifier two weeks after that. Um, there's one in Romania, one in Austria, and one in Italy. So we're going to see how we go, how the body is, um, how I'm feeling, and, you know, try and achieve the goals that we have set for this season, which for me is to get my IFBB pro card. As you all know, I've been trying to get it for a few years now. Um, I've put in the work and I feel really, really good. So I'm hoping this is my season, but I'm so, so proud of the progress I've made from last year to this year. So either way, it's already, you know, just been such a good prep for me and such a good off season. And I feel really ready um, to just go out there and enjoy myself at these shows because that's why we do this, isn't it? For fun. Like we really, we do it to challenge ourselves. We do it to grow. Um, but show day should be, you know, where we work really hard, but also where we are able to connect with like-minded people and just be in a community of bodybuilders and in doing the sport that we love. So that's why we should be doing this because we love it, right? Um, so the pro card is the goal. 
but you know like at the end of the day i do this because i love it and that's why i do it and i love to grow and change and improve year on year so i'm really really looking forward to this season i'm going to take you along with me and vlog as we travel so the next vlog will be out after the show next weekend and we'll see what happens at the regional and then it's off to spain on the 29th of july so please do follow the journey here on youtube Pop any questions that you've got like down below. I'm happy to answer them for you or address them in the next video. Um, and yeah, let's get this peak week on. I'll see you on the other side of the Hard Body Classic. Have a great one. Bye.